Alright, so today we're going to be doing a Nuka Cola sign, as you can spy with the little eye right behind me. Well, I do have the Voltec Volt Box, bah, Jump Box. I got the Tiger too. But it ended up being kind of a difficult project, and I had some mistakes. So, what I ended up having is one main sign for me, and then a couple extra signs that I have no idea what I'm going to do. Unlike the Volt Boy, that was relatively easy to do, just requires a steady hand painting. These signs require quite a bit more jigsaw skills and uh, were quite a bit more tricky to do, but it was quite fun, so let's go ahead and build it and see how it goes. Alright, so I don't know if I want to do the gray right on here or do I want to do the white stuff, but we're going to try the white first, see how it looks, and if it looks like bleh, then we'll go ahead and put the gray on or silver over it. The silver covers better, so it should be not as hard. So at this point now, we're just kind of filling in the framework here, most of the colors because black will be like the finishing color at the end. Oh, ah, now it's starting to look like it. Now it's recognizable. I just wasn't happy with it being flat, especially when the Vault Boy, let's see if I can see in the dark, has the shadow and the depth to it, and this one was going to be put pancake flat. So I'm projectoring a bottle cap over it, so we're going to make the edges all go around. And then I'm going to cut out the whole Nuka Cola part out, and, but you'll see what happens. It was just not good enough, so we're going to modify it. It's like sacrilege, but what you're going to do, and I'm cutting inside because it's raining out, so... A moment of truth. Peeling up pretty bad right there, and wherever the jigsaw touched, there's some around the corners. So I started sending it down, and it's coming off pretty well. Like the paint's stripping, this is pretty smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and just strip this whole thing entirely off paint and then project all over again. And over there, I'm gonna try to sand the Nuka Cola letters out because I can make them a little larger now, and they'll fill out this kind of gap a little bit better. So I'm gonna see how I'm gonna do it, but. It's a bit of a pain in the butt to re-stencil and repaint it again, but it's a lot, a lot, a lot better now with the outline the way it is. So I think it'll be worth it in the long run, but, you know, fingers crossed, we'll see how it pans out. Alright, so I also have this thing right here, which is like the paint stripping wheel or something, so it goes like this, woo! But it actually, like, ages it really well at the end, so I might risk it. So let's try it on Nuka Cola here, for example. So this looks not too bad yet. Let's try this. And that's pretty insane how quick it comes out and how good it looks. I almost want to take it to the Vault Boy and age it, but I don't think I'm brave enough. But this looks pretty sick. I put this to my wife, she's like, no, this looks great, just leave it like that. But I think I've overdone it there a little bit, but I'm very happy about this because, like, I mean, that's absolutely, I think, amazing and I'm gonna be able to do that on whatever future signs I make, but I'm glad I went ahead and tried this for myself because this is super sick. Inverted the colors, roughly overlaid it, so now I can go ahead and stencil this in a different piece of wood. End of the day of update. So if you ever have to send some paint down that you already have painted, it's a pain in the butt, don't do it if you can avoid it. This thing doesn't look quite right. I tried the background in blue, you can probably see the blue streaks there. Didn't look quite right. I tried to do it in silver, still doesn't look right. I think it will look all right if it'll be red. And we just go like this, right? So if we do like the cap red, 
and then do the Nuka-Cola letters over it, I think that'll look sick, and so I still might do that. Uh, I actually had to recut the cola, the other one snapped right here, so I had to trace it again and do it again, so this is my third time cutting it. So, but let's wrap up for the day. I'm already and here we all are, finished. It ended up being, I skipped through most of the painting and so forth because you already seen how it's done, but I ended up dry brushing it all, painting. I actually have two tones of black paint. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but this one right here is like more matte and this one is more glossy. So it reflects a little more. I dry brushed it, or rather aged it quite a bit. And I actually had to repaint the backboard there because I I ran the scrubber but ended up running kind of that way, the wire brush. And I wanted it to be more this way to line up with the Nuka Cola, so it was like running this way and that way. So now it's all going the same way. This was a pain in the butt. I still don't really like too much how this came out, but I was already committed and I had the thing, so I painted it red, cut new letters out. And the silver is definitely not as nice as white, but I'm, at this point I'm just tired of and I have too many signs anyways. So I'm gonna worry about this being white. Maybe eventually I'll get around to it, but it still looks really nice. The shadow is all black and it's clean. And I mean, I love this one. This one is perfect. So and then I got a, the Vault Boy, and this is the one I usually have hanging at my gym because that paint is actually the color of my gym walls. So I just use that on Vault Boy since I already have it. And that one's much heavier and I didn't want to take it off, so I just put, brought this one. But, so at which point does collecting, stops being collecting, becomes hoarding though? And we do have the Vault Tech box over there too with the big Vault Boy. And the Tiger, don't look at that. That's coming later. I really love that I found how to age the signs. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I love it. I'd never, if in a million years, imagine I'd be doing st stuff that looks this badass. To try a little different picture for a thumbnail. So I figured I might as well videotape this part. Got some adhesive, some aluminum cans, essentials. Can't find that, thousand million rubles. And the Quaker Oats I just got just because the colors match. So it's close enough. Got my other doodles. Love it. Love it. Essentials for scale. I do have I do have fun setting up little little photo shoots, I'm not gonna lie now. It's just rummaging through the house looking for just the, the, the perfect, perfect object. Thanks for watching you guys. Great success. Bye.